dear students welcome back let us discuss the new topic for this online platform topic name is <coughs> the cardiovascular system in this topic we will cover anatomy and physiology of heart what are the different vessels which is present in human body and what are the diseases related with this heart or vessels so overall the topic name is the cardiovascular system myself mr abhijit ankush kutre working as a lecturer in kcd krishna college of pharmacy dear students if you divide these two words that is cardio and muscular cardio means the heart and vascular means the vessels that is arteries vein and capillaries so study of these two under the system is known as cardio vascular system so let us discuss what are the learning object objectives or outcomes for the today's cardio vascular system topic number 1 students or learner will be able to achieve this first point that is discuss the anatomy and physiology of heart explain the different pathways of the blood circulation and number 3 is a differential between the artery and vein and some disorders related with the cardiovascular system so these four outcomes after completion of this topic students or learner will be achieve is all what is next very important the cardiovascular system generally divided into two types number 1 is heart is divided into cavities walls and vessels the cavities atria it is also called as atrium and the second one is the ventricles whereas the walls bicuspid tricuspid aortic and pulmonary there are the four walls vessels superior inferior vena cava pulmonary veins and aorta what are the blood vessels arteries veins and the capillaries these are the blood vessels of cardiovascular system present in this uh, classification of cardiovascular system now let us discuss what is the anatomy of heart you remember the heart is a hollow muscular organ located at the center of the thorax in between the two lungs containing three layers peri myo and endo there are the three layers which is made up uh, the heart is made up from these three layers and the next part is chambers there are the four chambers number one is upper chamber second one is a lower chamber the upper chamber is divided into atria and ventricles not atrial ventricles upper chamber is divided into right and left and the lower chamber is divided into ventricles that is right and left next what are the walls present in heart bicuspid tricuspid is also called as bicuspid is also called as mitral wall then tricuspid aortic and pulmonary wall whereas the vessels present in the structure of heart superior and inferior vena cava then pulmonary arteries and pulmonary veins so this is the anatomy of heart you pause this video and write this all point in your notebook this is very important for your mcq as well as theory exam so let us discuss the, what are the walls present in heart there are the four different walls present in heart and here is the locations of this heart first one is a tricuspid second is bicuspid number 3 is pulmonary number 4 is aortic walls if you see the function of all and the location of all walls it is present in the structure of heart tricuspid bicuspid pulmonary aortic is all walls see the locations of this wall you pause and write in your notebook it is very important for your exam what is the functions the all the functions is common for this walls it prevent the back flow of the blood means the formation of flow of blood blood is uniform or uniform 
in exam may be questions ask like what is the location of pulmonary wall what is the location of tricuspid what is the location of bicuspid or aortic wall you must remember this one for your exam what is the anatomy of heart dear students there are the four chambers of the heart There is the presence of septum, which divides two cavities. Then the vessels superior inferior vena cava. There is the presence of tricuspid, bicuspid, pulmonary, and aortic wall. Whereas the pulmonary arteries also present in the structure of heart or anatomy of heart. Pulmonary veins is also present. This is the anatomy of heart. Contains four chambers, three layers, four walls. and the different vessels the next point this is the flow that blue indicates deoxygenated blood red red indicates the oxygenated blood means right side chamber right side area is a deoxygenated blood and left side area is oxygenated blood. so this is the anatomy of heart see it's uh diagram it's showing the anatomy of heart or the physiology of heart heart showing the uh, flow of blood right side left side then the blood flowing comes to first this is the exchange of gases occurs in the blood and that blood is going to the next part now it is next the circulation through the blood or circulation of blood through the heart there are the three different circulations through hearts but remember the physiology is very important the superior inferior vena cava carries the blood towards the right atrium and right atrium madun and the blood is via tricuspid wall it goes to two right ventricles at the ventricles madun punha the blood via pulmonary walls it goes to the pulmonary arteries and the pulmonary arteries madun the lungs madhe jata so so this is the first pathway of right side or deoxygenated blood then the lungs after purification oxygenated blood carries to the left atrium and then left atrium carries to left ventricles via uh, bicuspid walls open zalelantar the blood punha aortic region and aortic regions madun punha rest of the body la blood so this is the blood flow this is the physiology of heart now let us move towards the next part is what are the types of circulations through the blood uh, of the blood through the heart so the first is a systemic circulation in this the heart to body parts and body parts to heart so this is the first flow is systemic circulation heart madun body parts madhe blood jat aste ani body parts madun हार्ट मध्य ऑक्सीजनेटेड डीऑक्सीजनेटेड जो ब्लड है पाथवे सीस्टमिक सर्क्युलेशन यूजफुल सेकेंड टाइप इज पलमनरी सर्क्युलेशन यू सी दिस हार्ट टू लंग्स एंड लंग्स टू हार्ट आता जस्ट कंपेर दिस टू सीस्टमिक सर्क्युलेशन एंड पलमोनरी सर्क्युलेशन इट शोइंग द डिफरस बिट्वीन टू पलमोनरी इंडिकेट्स द फॉर्मेशन और ट्रांसफर ऑफ ब्लड from heart to lungs where the systemic circulation transfer of blood from heart to different body parts so this is another pathway you write in your notebook in what is next this is the circulation if you see pulmonary circulations means lungs to heart systemic circulation means body parts to heart next part is hepatic circulation this is another type of circulation if you see the blood which is carries from the stomach large intestine small intestine it goes into hepatic portal vein portal veins pasun the livers madhe yet asto livers madun hepatic veins and hepatic veins madun puna inferior vena cava inferior vena cava madun te puna hearts madhe ani hearts madun puna oxygenated blood je ahe aorta madun hepatic arteries and hepatic arteries madun puna लंग्स मध्य सो दिस इज द अनदर टाइप ऑफ सर्कुलेशन टाइप नंबर थ्री नेक्स्ट कंडक्टिंग सिस्टम ऑफ हार्ट इज टोटली डिपेंड्स ऑन थ्री इंपॉर्टेंट पैरामीटर्स इफ यू सी दिस डायग्राम इट शोइंग द एस एनोड एवी नोड एंड एट्रीवेंट्रिकुलर बंडल 
लोकेशन्स बोया लोकेशन्स कुट है एस ए नोड इट इज प्रेजेंट ऐट दी ओपनिंग ऑफ द राइट एट्रीयम इट इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज नैचुरल पेस्ट मेकर ऑफ द बॉडी और पेस्ट प्राइमरी पेस्ट मेकर ऑफ द हार्ट अराउंड पॉइंट वन सेकेंड टाइम इज रिक्वायर्ड फॉर कॉन्ट्रेक्शन ऑफ एट्रीयम सेकेंड वन इज द एवी नोड एवी नोड इट इज अ सेकेंडरी पेस्ट मेकर एंड इट्स ट्रांसफर द इम्पल्सेस फ्रॉम एस एन नर्ड टू द AV node which is generated from the SA node and it goes to the bottom of the heart and last one is the atrioventricular bundles it is originate from the AV node and it's present at the bottom part of the heart or the below the ventricles now let's move to the next part is a cardiac cycle what is cardiac cycle the events which occurring during the one heart beat it's called as cardiac cycle आता कार्डिक साइकल ला पॉइंट एट सेकंड इट का वेल लगता हो एका मिनट में दे सेवेन टू टू कार्डिक साइकल्स होता स्तर सिस्टोल्स एंड डायस्टोल्स से मीनिंग तुम्हाला संगतो सिस्टोल मींस द पीरियड ऑफ कंट्रैक्शन डायस्टोल मींस द पीरियड ऑफ रिलैक्सेशन एंड देर आर द डिफरेंट इवेंट्स ऑकरिंग द कार्डिक साइकल नंबर containing atrial systole 0.1 second ventricular systole 0.3 second and complete diastole is 0.4 and the next part is what happened actually you know the anatomy of heart and according to anatomy of heart the first step is atrial systole means both atrium is contract doni atrium contract hota jalela ट्राइकस्पीड आणि बायकस्पीड वॉल ओपन होतात आणि ब्लड वेंट्रिकल्स मध्ये येतात त्या कालावधीला झिरो पॉइंट वन सेकंड इतका वेळ सेकंड इज वेंट्रिकुलर सिस्टॉल पॉइंट थ्री सेकंड इतका वेळ लागतो त्यामध्ये दोन्ही वेंट्रिकल्स मधलं जे ब्लड आहे ते बॉटम मधून पंप होऊन अवर्टिक रिजन मध्ये आणि फलमुनरी आर्टरीज ने लंग्सकडे जात असत त्याला झिरो पॉइंट थ्री सेकंड वेळ लागतो आणि लास्ट इज अ कार्डिक डायस्टॉल इट इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड ऍज कम्प्लीट डायस्टॉल ह्या प्रोसेस मध्ये दोनी मेंट्रिकल्स जाहिर ते कॉन्ट्रैक्ट होता था अनि ब्लड उन्हा बाहर पड़ता था स्टेप तो ये दिस आर द डिफरेंट स्टेप्स सी दिस इज़ द कार्डियक साइकल द स्टेप नंबर वन टू एंड थ्री अब नेक्स्ट इज़ द हार्ट साउंड्स हार्ट्स में ये दोन साउंड्स होता था लप एंड डब पहला साउंड एट्रोवेंट्रिकुलर वॉल जब वाले क्लोज होता है तब वाले पहला साउंड है तो अन्य दूसरा साउंड जो है तो डब तो एवोर्टिक अन्य पलमुनरी वॉल्स जब वाले क्लोज होता है तब वाले सेकंड साउंड नेक्स्ट व्हाट इस ईसीजी ईसीजी लिख तो कार्डियोग्राम इट्स शोइंग पीक्यूआरएसटी वेव्स इफ यू सी दिस रेड सिग्नल P wave, atrial depolarization, QRS, ventricular depolarization, and T waves is ventricular depolarization. And the next is a blood pressure. You know the definition of blood pressure. There are the two types of blood pressure: systolic and diastolic blood pressure. The definition of blood pressure is lateral pressure exerted by the blood on the walls of the blood vessels. Is measured by measured by the sigma manometer, which is a unique apparatus to count or to record the blood pressure. And these are the different factors that affects on the blood pressure and some factors that maintain the blood pressure. Then the next is the cardiac output is very important definition stroke volume and heart rate. So what is the arteries and vein? This is the important difference between the arteries and vein arteries that carries the blood. Away from their hearts and veins that carries the blood towards the heart. Arteries generally carries the oxygenated blood, veins carries the deoxygenated. Arteries are thick wall, veins are thin. And arteries are the reddish in color, veins are bluish in color. Watch, uh, write these all points in your note. And there are some arteries that carries the blood to the different organs. लिवर मधुन हिपैटिक आर्टरी आते किडनी मध्य रिनल आर्टरीज टाइफ्राइम मध्य फेनरिक आर्टरीज इंटेस्टन मध्य सुफेरियर एंड इन्फेरियर मेनेस्ट्रिक आर्टरीज सो दीज आर दम डिऑर्डर्स रिलेटेड विथ द हार्ट हाइपरटेन्शन हाइपोटेन्शन सी एच एफ एक्थरोस्क्लोरोसिस कंजेस्टिव कार्डियक फेल्युअर मायोकार्डियल इन्फ्रैक्शन 
आणि एंजॉय ना पेट्रोल्स डिसऑर्डर्स ऑल्डर्स रिलेटेड सीवीएस